With the rumored release of the Cops and Crooks DLC coming to GTA Online sometime this year, I got to thinking, could Rockstar bring back an old classic and do it justice? Especially when the expectations for it are going to be really high for such a beloved mode. Today we'll look back at what made GTA 4's Cops and Crook mode so great, what Rockstar could learn from it, and how it could work in GTA Online. When I went back to GTA 4 yesterday to record some gameplay for this video, I was reminded about how simple yet how fun Cups and Crooks really was in GTA 4. And it's not because it's the most in-depth mode of all time, no, far from it. It's the most basic thing ever. You got two teams, some weapon spawns and a destination to escape to. The rest is up to you. Do you want to face the cops head on and try your luck? Try it. They got four SMGs ready to unload and the chances are slim you will survive that bullet hose. So you have to be smart, find the vehicle quickly, gather some weapons, and then get out of there as quick as you can. But the cops got at least two cars. If you get spotted, you're going to be chased until you can't run anymore. So map knowledge and overall skill and teamwork comes into play. As a cop, you can decide to stick together as four people, or split up and take multiple cars to cover up multiple exits, or cut off the crooks in a more effective way. And on top of that, you also had GTA 4's hosting options, which gave another big layer of variety and freedom. What type of game mode do you want? One for all where you have to protect or kill the boss? Or turn into a last team standing in one for all? Do you want to give the crooks RPGs to pick up? Have at it. Respawn them in one second or 25? High traffic or barely any at all? Looking for a clear sky afternoon or a rainy night? All of this and more was possible. And if you don't agree, kick the host! Kick him! All this stuff is what made GTA 4's Cops and Crook mode so great. The freedom and the variety of it. You and your team had to figure out how to either escape the cops or kill the crooks. It was challenging, but satisfying. But of course, it wasn't perfect. Because routes can be over very quickly depending on the choices made or the vehicle spawning. There are times you spawn at the abandoned house and you have to make your way to the road before you can even find a car. Thus giving the cops enough time to get to where you are. Especially in the random lobby, this would mostly result into short rounds that didn't really offer much room for those long chases that makes cops and crooks so fun. There's also not a lot of starting points. If I recall correctly, I played a total of 5 and I had no option to choose between them. But then again, you can approach those five starting points in all sorts of different ways, so it never really feels repetitive. In GTA Online, there has been a previous attempt to make a Cops and Crooks mode. This is the Extraction Adversary mode added in the Executives and Other Criminals DLC released in December of 2015. And it is exactly what you would expect from a Cops and Crooks type of mode. You have three teams, one team of crooks, one team of bodyguards, and one target. However, there are a few big differences compared to GTA 4's version. Both teams have weaponized vehicles, a full loadout, and even a helicopter at their disposal. Meanwhile, the target will spawn at a crashed plane with a flare gun and a .50 pistol to defend himself. The mode itself has a total of 5 maps and they all have a search area where you have to find a target in. Obviously, you are able to see where the crashed plane is to get a clue where the target could be. And as a bodyguard, you have an app on your phone with a tracker to find the target so you can find him quicker and get him to safety. On paper, this sounds great. However, the reality is that the game mode is pretty unbalanced and doesn't have the same kind of chases that GTA 4 had. The bodyguards are much better equipped because they have better weapons and even an insurgent at their disposal, which will obviously make very quick work of the technical that the crooks use. That is, if the bodyguards doesn't just throw a sticky bomb at the technical and blow it up in a matter of seconds. The bodyguards also get a carbine rifle, while the crooks get an assault rifle, a weapon that is 
is worst in every single way. And when the crook dies, he spawns on the sand chest while the bodyguard is still sitting comfortably in his insurgent and it basically becomes a waiting game until the target is found and the round wind goes to the bodyguards. My biggest issue with the mode is that it plays out in a specific area and the destination where the target has to be brought to is always way too close. Add the insurgent as a transport vehicle for the target on top of that and you have yourself a guaranteed victory for the bodyguards 90% of the time. It is really unbalanced in that way and it doesn't offer the same level of freedom and thinking outside of the box that you had with GTA 4's version. You're always restricted to the same vehicles, the same routes, and typically the same outcome as well. I'm not saying that you can't have fun matches in extraction, because it definitely is true that if you have a good team of crooks, you can secure the win. But extraction really feels restricted when it's supposed to be GTA Online's take on cops and crooks, a game mode that serves as a fantastic example of thinking outside of the box in a wide open space. So here's what I would personally would love to see if and or when GTA Online gets a Cops and Crooks DLC. Number one, give us the freedom of GTA 4's version. Let us choose what weapons will spawn, what area to spawn in, how much traffic there is, etc, etc. The more options, the better. Let go of as many restrictions as possible while still keeping the balance at least somewhat in check. There will always be a better team, but there should at least be a good fighting chance for all. Number two, enough maps and enough scenarios. Make every map or situation feel unique so you don't always take the same kind of route. Los Santos is a big place with many opportunities to escape and ambush. Use it to its full potential, but close off the sewers and the train tunnels because that's going to get old very quickly. Number three, the most important one in my humble opinion. Don't, and I mean seriously, don't give it the adversary mode disease. Now this might sound very dramatic, but hear me out. Adversary modes are notorious for being half-baked, unbalanced game modes that typically give an advantage to one of the teams and then call it a day. If this were to happen to an actual Cops and Crooks mode like they did with Extraction, the mode will be dead on arrival and it will be a very big shame. If Cops and Crooks were to come to GTA Online, it should stick to its route, leave the weaponized vehicles in the garage, and just keep it pure and simple. Because at the end of the day, it's the simplicity that made GTA 4's game mode so great. But those are just some of my thoughts, of course. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.